from one heated rival to another, the Grand Rapids Griffins move on from a first round playoff sweep for the Milwaukee Admirals to a Central Division Finals matchup with the Chicago Wolves. It's the fifth consecutive season in which the Griffins have advanced to the second round of the American Hockey League's Calder Cup playoffs, and what a series we have in store. On behalf of the Griffins and Michigan First Credit Union, I'm Bob Kayser welcoming you to our preview of what we are confident will be an epic best of seven war between teams that have battled 140 times in the regular season since 1996. But the stakes are much higher now as the Griffins and Wolves prepare for a fifth postseason showdown. Let's start with a quick recap of how these teams got here. The Wolves, the number one seed in the Central Division, edging out Grand Rapids by a single point in the last day of the regular season, also edged out a first round series win against the Charlotte Checkers. Facing elimination in game four, Chicago posted a 5-1 win to force a fifth and deciding game last Wednesday, and two early power play goals propelled the Wolves to a 3-2 victory and a 3-2 series win. For the second straight year, the Griffins would match up in the first round with their longtime rival Milwaukee. And though they swept the Admirals for the second straight season, it was not easy. Grand Rapids had to go to overtime twice. Tomas Nosek was the hero in game one. Florido will play one ahead for Nosek. Has to chase it down in the Admiral zone. Now he took a oh. shot. Bang, a shot score! Tomas Nosek takes it off the goaltender from a terrible angle. And the Griffins win it in overtime at 9.32. Tyler Bertuzzi scores what turns out to be his franchise record seventh game-winning goal in a 5-2 win in game two. In goes Makarat, jammed the puck three. Griffins have it, and they've got numbers the other way. It's two on one. Bertuzzi into the circle, score! Tyler Bertuzzi steps it inside the right goal post. And then in Milwaukee for game three, and back to overtime we go for the game and series clinching goal from Kyle Criscolo. They go down behind the net, that's Dukov taken down, but Chris has got the puck and a pass. Deflected back to the left point, here's Renoff. In front, deflect, score! Kyle Criscolo has ended it! And the Griffins win 3-2 in overtime! The Harvard rookie scored some highlight reel goals this past season, showing incredible hand-eye coordination, which earned him a spot in SportsCenter's top 10, but no goal was as big or impressive as this one. Yeah, obviously when you can score a series clinching goal, um, it's, it's big time and it's fun. And I think Reno made a great play there and, and put it in a great spot for me, so I was lucky to deflect that one in, but yeah, it's... Uh, something that I'll always remember. And it's not all about the books at Harvard where the two-time captain also learned some dance moves. Well, at least on skates. <laughs> yeah, I think that was just uh, pure happiness there. Didn't really know what I was doing, wasn't really thinking, but uh, I was definitely uh, pretty excited. So now here we go. Griffins versus Wolves. Remarkably, after colliding in the postseason four times in a five-year span from 2000 to 2004, they have not met since. 13 years have passed. It's long overdue. The Wolves have won three of the previous four playoff series against the Griffins, including the 2000 IHL Turner Cup Finals. Chicago has four titles, two Turner Cups and a pair of Calders, the last of which was in 2008. The Griffins own the one championship of 2013 Calder Cup. Three players from that team are still here, Nathan Page, Brian Lashoff, and Mitch Callahan. For Chicago, Brett Sterling is the lone player from the 2008 championship squad on this year's roster. Grand Rapids and Chicago are just two of four teams who reached 100 points this past regular season. And as mentioned earlier, they have played 140 times over 21 seasons. The Griffins have 40 lifetime wins in Chicago, which is the most in any road city. Both teams were really good at home this past regular season. In fact, the Wolves' 27 wins at Allstate Arena were tied for the most in the AHL. Their seven regulation losses at home were the fewest in the league, which made the Griffins' success in Chicago all the more impressive. Grand Rapids was responsible for three of the Wolves' seven regulation losses inside Allstate Arena and went 4-1 and one in five trips overall to the Windy City. The Griffins won 25 times at home, while their 23 road wins were third most among 30 AHL teams. The Wolves finished the regular season at 44-19-8-5 and boast this year's AHL MVP in Kenny Agostino. Despite missing 11 games, the Morristown, New Jersey product and Yale grad ran away with a scoring title with 83 points in just 65 games. They have plenty of other scoring weapons, including the league's leading goal scorer and Wade Megan, who lit the lamp 33 times, and rookie defenseman Vince Dunn, whose 45 points led all first-year Blue Liners. Chicago will have to do without goaltender Phoenix Copley, who was traded by St. Louis along with Kevin Shattenkirk to Washington in late February. But they've got Helsinki, Finland native Billy Husso, 
who played all five games in the first round and played well. And the Griffins expect to see lots of him in this upcoming series. Former Philadelphia Flyer player and coach Craig Berube is in his first year behind the bench for the Wolves and did an outstanding job in guiding Chicago back to the playoffs after finishing on the outside the year before. Griffin's second year head coach Todd Nelson was an assistant coach for the Wolves when they last won the Calder Cup in 2008. And yes, his team certainly had the upper hand in the regular season series with Chicago going eight and two, but three of those wins were in overtime and Nelson knows he's facing one of the AHL's premier teams in this second round. Yes, they are. They're a very good hockey team. And uh, even though we had a good record against them during the regular season, playoffs is a whole different season and uh, it's just gonna be a battle. The Griffins did a lot of things right in the sweep of Milwaukee, including killing 10 of 11 power plays. On the flip side though, they are still trying to regain their prowess on the power play. After leading the AHL at 24.4% in the regular season, the Griffins went just 2 for 16 against the Admirals, but did so without their primary go-to guy in Martin Furt. The team's leading goal scorer missed the final three games of the regular season and the first three of the playoffs, but Todd Nelson said he's expected to be ready to go for the Central Division Finals. Yeah, you know what, uh, we have to get it going. Marty Furt's been a big part of that the whole season. And, uh, you know, unless we have some hiccups with his uh, progression, He's uh, probably going to be in Wednesday night. Just like the regular season, the Griffins had a balanced scoring attack in the first round, showing seven players averaging at least a point per game. And Jared Cora between the pipes played all three games and was solid with a 2.1 goals against and a save percentage of 931. The best of seven series begins in Chicago for games one and two this Wednesday and Friday, May 3rd and 5th. Games three and four come to Grand Rapids and will be staged at Van Amdel Arena on Saturday and Monday, May 6th and the 8th. If necessary, Game 5 is back in Chicago Saturday, May 13th. Game 6 would be in Grand Rapids Monday, May 15th. And a seventh game, if needed, is scheduled for Chicago Tuesday, May 16th. All games can be heard on ESPN 961. And we remind you that watch parties with food and drink specials for all road games will be hosted by the downtown Papino's Bar and Grill. Thanks for joining us. That's been our series preview, again presented by Michigan First Credit Union. I'm Bob Kayser.